an increasing number of journalists in the U.S. have been targeted for their work. In a special assignment report, the network Sofia Zuniga takes a look at a proposed law that could increase their safety. The U.S. Press Freedom Tracker reported that 40 journalists were assaulted in 2022. Now, journalistic organizations are pushing for the Journalist Protection Act, which would make it a federal crime to knowingly assault a journalist on duty. We're not seeking special treatment for journalists. Anytime a journalist is attacked, anytime a journalist is assaulted, certainly anytime, uh, unfortunately, when a journalist is, is killed, uh, the ultimate victims are really the members of the public who are then deprived of the work of that journalist and deprived of the information that journalist was seeking and attempting to report. Senators Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut and Bob Menendez of New Jersey introduced the Journalist Protection Act in 2018. Representative Eric Swalwell of California has introduced the bill in the House three times. Groups including the Radio, Television, Digital News Association and the Society of Professional Journalists are advocating for the act to pass during the current congressional session and are optimistic it will be seriously considered. The strength is in our numbers and our coalition. A lot of times we come together to call for something and that really creates uh, urgency and attention for, for that cause. Over the past decade, 10 journalists have been murdered while on assignment in the United States. The most recent death happened in February of this year when police say Keith Melvin Moses shot and killed Dylan Lyons, a reporter for Spectrum News 13, at a crime scene in Orlando. Journalists risk their lives every minute of every day. Um, they're in dangerous situations and they are very vulnerable and very unprotected. Experts emphasize that the Journalist Protection Act needs to be at the federal level because the reporter's work could upset local authorities and skew the outcome of the case. The Journalist Protection Act, though, would add a layer of federal protection so that if a local district attorney or state's attorney or prosecuting attorney uh, decided not to charge or undercharged a, a defendant accused of assaulting a journalist, then the federal government would have the right to step in, the Department of Justice would have the right to step in and prosecute the attacker uh, on uh, the federal level. Since 2020, there's been a significant spike in attacks on journalists. 133 were arrested while covering the Black Lives Matter protests starting May of 2020, and 16 journalists were hurt or arrested during the January 6, 2021 insurrection. According to the U.S. Press Freedom Tracker, there were 631 incidents in 2020 where journalists have been assaulted, shot, or sprayed with a chemical irritant, such as pepper spray. There is a movement, a political movement right now in America um, led in part by Governor DeSantis, but many, many other elected and public officials are also falling in this camp, uh, in this movement to try to damage independent journalism, to try to make it more difficult for journalists to serve the public by seeking and reporting the truth. Meanwhile in Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis has been attacking New York Times versus Sullivan, a Supreme Court case that protects journalists from defamation claims, but no official legal action has been taken yet. Reporting for the South Florida Media Network, I'm Sophia Suniga from Washington, D.C.